A variety of tissues and organs are used in medical procedures and while awaiting their use they need to be bathed in a solution that has the same osmolarity as the cytoplasm within their cells. This essentially means that the solute concentration of the cytoplasm within their cells has to match the solute concentration of the solution that they're being bathed in. This means that while water is able to move between solution A, the cell's cytoplasm, and solution B, the solution in which the organ or tissue is being bathed in, there is no net or overall movement of water towards one or the other. And this is because the solute concentrations of each are equal. They are isotonic to one another. There are a variety of preservation solutions available on the market and each one is designed to preserve a different tissue or organ. For each one, they have similar electrolyte compositions to the tissue or organ that they're designed to preserve. For example, they'll have the same concentration as the cell's cytoplasm for electrolytes such as glucose, sodium ions, potassium ions, magnesium ions and phosphate ions, to name but a few. By doing this and creating circumstances in which there is no net movement of water into or out of the cells, this avoids cell swelling and disruption of the cells so that these organs and tissues can be used in transplantation and that after the transplant, the cells are still alive and operational.